Uh, hi guys, my name is Tom Antos and uh, in this video I just wanted to quickly talk about some of these accessories uh, for the Blackmagic cameras. So if you bought the new Blackmagic 4K camera or if you have their, their previous uh, Blackmagic cinema camera then uh, like I said in the, in the review uh, of the camera itself, you'll definitely need to invest uh, you know, in, in, into some accessories. The number one thing you'll need to get are, are batteries. The camera has built-in batteries but uh, it's there more uh, as a backup so um, you know, to really actually practically use this out in the field uh, like I said, you, you'll need batteries. So uh, here's uh, two options that I found um, that work best. First one is um, it's this little adapter here, uh, and it's, it's from Icon, and it uh, accepts um, uh, the Sony LP batteries or, or L batteries, uh, like these ones. The good thing about th these batteries is that there's a, they're, you know they're easy to buy. There's you know almost everybody carries them. Uh, they're they're fairly inexpensive. You can buy these ones, for example, on on Amazon for around twenty dollars. Uh, I find the ones that you can buy uh, from well, I think believe the company name is Watson on on BH Photo. Uh, they're fifty dollars and they're a little bit uh, better. Uh, now all of them are the same model. They're the NPF nine fifty. Uh, and also, of course, you can get the ones you know the you know original ones made from Sony. Uh, but those ones will cost you over a hundred dollars. But like I said, the one from Watson, the BH Photo, works really well, and the ones from Amazon too. It's just maybe a little bit, you know, uh, they don't ha they don't hold as much juice maybe as the ones from from BH Photo. And it's you know fairly simple. You just you know put the battery here into the the mount, and it comes with a cable, and it already has a little like a plug converter, so you can use this with the the cinema camera, the 4K camera or with their packet uh, camera if you just remove this adapter and uh, and to mount this you basically just you know the cameras here on the top have these uh, three three screws and this also has it up here so you just screw it onto the top and you have the battery there uh, now if you're you know if you're gonna for example be using the camera with uh, with let's say like a cage system like this one now I have a whole you know, separate video on different cage and rail kind of systems you can get for this camera. But this is one from, from Genie Rigs. And uh, if you wanted to mount it to that, then obviously you will not be able to use those top mounting holes on there. Uh, so you'll have to find a different way of, of mounting it. And uh, one way of mounting it is, uh, is using th this little uh, you know, hot shoe adapter uh, with like a little ball head. Um, so you can just screw this in you know, anywhere pretty much to these rigs. Most of these rigs have uh, you know, the quarter inch screws. Um, and so you can mount it, for example, like I said, up here or over there, and uh, and you can also use this to mount a little monitor up here or over there, and the same way up here because it has a little screw mount on the bottom. Or um, if, for example, you're gonna uh, you know use uh, rails on this on, on, on your rig. Let me put these here. Uh, then you might want to, for example, mount it here on the back of your of your rail. So you know if you're using it as a, as a shoulder rig, kind of the, have the battery sort of counterbalancing it. Uh, then you can get uh, one of these things. Uh, this one actually is, uh, I got on Amazon uh, for forty dollars. It comes actually all together. It comes like this, but I detached this one basically piece, and then I use this uh, this piece separately just to uh, you know to basically allow me to to mount the whole rig. For example, you know, put the rails through here, and then I can use this cheese plate on the bottom to, to mount it to, to a tripod. And then the other piece that comes with it, again, it just you know fits your standard 15 millimeter rails. And uh, and then also what's cool about it is that it has different sort of threads on the bottom, uh, you know, the the sides here and 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 the top. So you can put it any way you want it, and it's fairly simple. All you do is again you remove this sort of this crossbar and this battery mount. Uh, just take out the screw in there and then you screw it to this and then you can you know once you have it attached like this to this this uh, rail mount then you just literally here slide it on the back of your rails and you can have the battery over there so you know there's, there's a lot of you know different ways of you know to, you, you can find to mount this this stuff onto your onto your rig uh, now another battery uh, option, which uh, I think is, is probably better than this, uh, but a lot more expensive, uh, is, is the V-mount batteries. Now uh, you know the V-mount batteries. Um, you know, here's the difference. Like I said, it's it's a lot more expensive, but it's also uh, just a lot bigger and a lot heavier. 
Now this battery will power the, the Blackmagic you know, Cinema or, or, or 4K cameras for around four hours. Uh, it, it sometimes can you know depends on the on the battery you get for obviously, but uh, if you get like a sort of the standard you know 100 uh, you know watts um, V mount battery for around four four and a half hours. This one will you know maybe you can stretch it to two hours. Now the difference is that this battery is actually uh, 7.4 volts, and this ICAN adapter it effectively converts that and uh, from 7.4 volts to 12 volts, but it lowers the amperature. And what that does is it, it's just enough juice to power the, the, the 4K camera, but it's uh, unfortunately not enough to, to sort of at the same time sustain and keep on charging the internal battery. Whereas with uh, these V-mount batteries, a uh, great thing about them is that uh, not only do they have enough juice to, to power the camera, but also to at the same time charge the internal battery. So let's say if you r run out of this battery, uh, you can, you know, in the middle of the shooting, you can take this off and put, put in another battery. You know, and you 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 know that the, your your built-in battery in your Blackmagic camera is, is is still charged, but it also has so much power that, uh, for example, if you get like this this uh, V-mount battery uh, uh, mount like this one from Lenpart, then it, it will usually get, come with other different you know uh, uh, outputs and inputs, and this one, for example, has you know 15 volt uh, 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 output, 5 volt, 12 volt. Uh, it even has a 8.4 volt up here and even has a USB output uh, plus it has a HDMI splitter so you can put in a one HDMI signal and split two on the bottom so this is like a really cool uh, you know battery V-mount battery mounting plate and again it just uses the standard you know 15 inch uh, 15 uh, millimeter uh, rod system here you can put it on the back like as you can see and then you can tighten it you know at any angle you want and uh, you know, together with the battery, you can again use it, let's say, as a shoulder rig, and and have this sort of be a really good counterbalance. Now, the battery itself, um, if, well, they're, they're, these batteries usually come in different sizes. Now, they're these are sort of what you would consider as an industry standard professional batteries, so they're going to be a lot more expensive. And again, depending on what what size you get, but they they'll retail anywhere from like $150 to all the way, you know, up to five six hundred dollars per battery. But the great thing about these batteries is that you can, you know, re recycle them, basically recharge them, you know, many times over without really worrying about, you know, losing uh, the, 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 you know, the, the, the memory of the, of the battery basically being, getting destroyed. Also, the, most of the batteries will have a built-in, you know, voltmeter on, on the side, so you, you know how much juice you have uh, left. And it's just, you know, they're they're, they're bigger, you know, more reliable sort of batteries. So that's one thing. But but at the same time, they're more expensive. This option here. Uh, like I said, it's a lot cheaper. You, you can the the icon mount is around uh, eighty dollars, and these batteries you can get for twenty dollars to all the way to like fifty dollars for the no brand names. Um, so you know you can get yourself, for example, a system like this one one battery in the mount for like a hundred dollars, and you can already power the camera for two hours, and then you can easily just buy you know uh, extra uh, extra batteries. Also, the charger for this is a lot cheaper. So. Uh, whereas the charger for the V-mount batteries, again, is just a more professional sort of a setup, so it's going to be a lot more money. But uh, if you guys want all the information on these batteries, then uh, check out the, the, the links in the description of this, of this video. Uh, it will take you to my website at tomantosfilms.com, and over there I'm going to provide you know all the information on where to get, get it, the different places, different deals, that kind of stuff. Uh, I also want to talk about a few other little accessories for the camera. Uh, one sort of really important thing uh, is, uh, like I mentioned, the review of the Blackmagic 4K camera. That um, the monitor itself is—it's uh, not really, you know, great when you're using it outside. So you definitely want to get some kind of a good field monitor. Um, and uh, you know, uh, there, there's, a, there's there's a, a whole other video I'm going to do about different kind of monitors and you know what I think is good and bad, but. Um, if you're just sort of thinking of you know a way to mount the, the monitor, let's say on, on top of the camera here, uh, to these these attachment points, or uh, if for example you're using you know like like this genie rig or, or some other sort of a cage for your camera, then uh, you know there's a few different solutions. The easiest probably and cheapest one is this one, uh, retails for eight dollars on Amazon, uh, and it's just a standard sort of a ball mount, uh, and it's you know it comes actually with this. Uh, quarter inch screw on the bottom but it also comes with a hot shoe mount adapter so you can also use it with your DSLRs and put it on top of your DSLR or like I said you can easily just mount it here 
and uh, and then for example you can have you know you can adjust the angle of this ball mount and you can for example yeah like I said with this rig you can mount the monitor here or mount it on the side and uh, and it's you know it works it's it's very sturdy all you all you really have is just this one knob and you can you know loosen it adjust the angle again and then just tighten it now uh, if you want something where that sort of gives you more you know distance uh, then probably another option is uh, sort of these these little arms uh, this one is I believe uh, five or six inch and this one's 11 inch and there's just different lengths they're about anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars on Amazon again check the links in, on my website and um, the way they work is sort of similar like that again they have you know sort of these tripod you know screws uh, on the on the on each end so you can easily attach it here let's say to this to the, this side of the rig or here or you know any of the basically the threads or even here to the, the top of the camera and then once you have it attached you just all you do is you just loosen this one arm and you can easily rotate the, the arm any way you want and also twist this and once you pick the position you like you just tighten it and that's it so this one you know it's once you tighten it it's pretty solid in there uh, now at the same time if you get this long arm obviously you can't put you know uh, that as much weight as for example on this little ball head simply because well you know if you extend it this way so you know you can put probably up to I would say like maybe two pounds but if you start putting more weight than that it's not that this thing won't hold it but I just wouldn't trust putting all that weight on this little screw here you know on, uh, at the end of it so that's the only thing um, but for your standard you know field monitor with a battery attached to it it's gonna be no problem uh, now if you for example if you want to attach this but let's say you don't have a rig uh, like like the, like the, the, uh, the cage system but let's say you have rails then you can again uh, use this thing that I you know, showed you guys before and you can you know put this on your rails and then you can for example screw it into the top of, the, of this or you can even just get the single thing which this is cheaper it's at around ten dollars and then again you can screw it into the front here to the, the top anywhere you want and you can sort of attach the arm that way so you know and that would allow you to basically use the rails uh, now let's say if you don't even have the rails uh, but you have a tripod, you know, or, or just even a light stand or something that you want to use uh, to to mount your your monitor. Then you can also get this little clamp up here. This will this will also work with your 15 uh, millimeter, you know, rails. Uh, and it's very easy to to tighten it. And here on the end, it has different uh, thread sizes, so you can you know uh, screw this thing in your arm. And once you attach it. Once you attach it, then you know you can pretty much clamp this to anything. Uh, you know, a light stand or uh, or even your, one of your tripod legs, and it's you know has a rubber kind of coating up here, so it's not going to scratch anything. And this thing is very very uh, strong, very, very durable. So that's you know another way of uh, of mounting your your monitor, or let's say even if you have like an LED light or a microphone, things like that. So you know, get an arm like this, get a clamp. Uh, you know, maybe maybe get one of these things for your rails. Uh, a lot of different ways to go with it. Um, and now the last thing you might want to invest in uh, is this uh, lens uh, follow focus gear uh, because you know it's, like I said you're most likely going to end up using the camera with the big rig and, and going to have follow focus on it so uh, this might come in really handy and this one's only ten dollars on Amazon and it allows you to easily just change you know resize the, the, the diameter of it so you can use it with all your lenses pretty much you can just buy one or you know or two whatever and, uh, and just easily switch them between all your different size lenses uh, anyways, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this uh, and found it useful and uh, if you're interested in the, in the more information about the Blackmagic camera or the different rigs for it, like the shoulder rig and stuff like that, then uh, check out my website at tomantosfilms.com. I have other video reviews there and more information. Uh, anyways, thank you and I'll see you next time.